So I just took apart the X buster for maintenance and I thought it would be a good time to talk about all the electronics involved inside of this project. For a full list of components, please see the video description below. So first of all, I have a lithium polymer battery that I bought from Adafruit and that is connected to this uh, battery charger. This is so that I can just plug it into USB over here and charge the battery without having to take the battery out of its place. That uh, battery pack is then connected to this guy here, which is a sound module by uh, Adafruit as well, as well as to this guy over here, this microcontroller called the Trinket. As it may be already obvious, this guy uh, controls all the sounds and this guy controls all the lights. The lights are just uh, Adafruit NeoPixels that I wrote some code so that they can react uh, to different button presses as well as idle, which is what you see here. In the handle, we have four buttons, two of which control the lights and the sounds. And these two buttons are connected separately uh, through these extension harnesses, which are not connected right now, to the vape and to the fan that pushes the, the smoke out of the vape. So, as you can see, when I push this button, I get a little... And when I push this other button, I get the charge animation. And everything's connected to this portable uh, speaker, which is rechargeable separately. So the good thing is I have volume control here. So now onto the vape, here it is. Uh, this guy I just bought at any uh, vape and smoke shop. I built a little manifold on it and I also modified it so that I could connect the button that activates it, this button, in parallel so that I could actuate it with that button over there. Uh, so what happens when I press both buttons simultaneously, I pump air through here and smoke comes out of this here, out of this uh, nozzle here. And then it goes out through this tube over here and into this hole over there. So in here I have this little manifold inside of my, my lens cavity here. And I have eight little holes out of which smoke comes out. So as you can see, I built the buster to be modular. That, that way all of the electronics are housed in a single 3D printed component like this and then all the other parts are just decorative. So the way this is going to get assembled is I'm just going to glue it in place in there and I'm going to get a nice nice seam. There you have it. Thanks for watching. 